man, the audio completely screwed up on this video, so I don't know what happened, but this is my official first prop of the season, my cauldron creep from uh, devilscharriot.blogspot.com. Go check it out. There's a section on just the uh, cauldron creep. Most of you haunters already know what this is anyway. It's a, a pretty famous prop um, created um, by Devil's Chariot. I've been wanting to build one for a while. It's going to be one of our make and take um, projects, uh, but I never can wait. So this is the mechanism to the uh, movement of the head using a reindeer motor. And it worked pretty well. Had to mess with the arm mechanism length there a little bit to to get the movement the way I wanted it. But overall, I think it came out really well. Um, after I edit this and upload tonight, I'm probably going to go paint that frame. So that'll be the next vlog. Um, but there it is in action. And right after this, you will actually see the um, uh, green eyes. I got the green eyes hooked up in this um, right after showing you this video. The PVC for this project only cost around $7 for all the fittings, all the L pieces, T brackets, you name it, 7 bucks, completely worth it. And I already had this cauldron, so um, it was cool that I already had that. And I'm going to use the this big tub of bones. Thank you, Dionysia12, for my secret vlogkin gift of the bag of bones. I'm going to use those. I also have these uh, bucky uh, feet and uh, the bottom of the legs. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. They're kind of heavy, uh, but I'm thinking about using them. But I definitely have tons of bones to be able to use. And it's pretty cool. The, the bag of bones that uh, Christy sent me, they're hollow. So I actually, you can, I'm thinking I could cut them open and actually put them over the PVC pipe. Uh, versus most sections that I've seen that, uh, that have the... Uh, uh, bone just on the outside of the PVC. Oh, and here I'm grabbing a staff that I'm thinking would probably work well with this. Uh, have three or four of these. Just a, a whittled wooden staff and I'm thinking that one's gonna work really well. I have a Monster Guts motor, a wiper motor that I got from the Cyber Monday sale. I got two of them, but they're wrapped up as a present for Christmas so I can't <laughs> I can't have those yet so I'm gonna get everything ready and to the point uh, before I need the uh, monster guts motor so it'll be mounted right inside there and it'll spin around and uh, I will also you know pump fog into it the whole nine yards so if you haven't checked out that you know this project before you definitely should go check it out. It is a must for your cemetery or yard haunt. This is going to be such a freaking awesome addition this year to the yard. I'm so excited to get this thing uh, all the way finished. It is going to be awesome. And I'll let you look at it a little bit longer. Because I know all the videos that I've seen are pretty short on l the mechanism part of it to see how it works. All right, guys. I got his green LEDs put in his eyes. I only could find one eyeball blank for now. I want to do ping pong balls over there. I just can't find one right now to kind of diffuse that light because that LED is like really bright. I don't know. It may be cool just with the LEDs. Let me know what you think down in the doobly doo. Uh, if I should leave just the just the really bright LEDs shining like that, or the eyeball, or ping pong balls that are just with no iris. 
like Devil's Chariot. His is just kind of blank, kind of a blank eye. And I just had this on here to kind of see what it looked like. But I added this cage. The chicken wire caging. To protect the motor mechanism. So you can put cheesecloth or you know whatever you're going to use. I'm going to probably use a bunch of this cheesecloth. I got to put a layer of black first and then I'll go back over with cheesecloth. I just want to kind of see you know what it looked like draped over. And uh, so that's what I've been working on today. I hadn't really watched any videos today. Um, watched Troy this morning. I think I just watched the Bloodshed Brothers. Um, and let me show you what I bought yesterday. Cause I'm doing a zombie haunt. From Hollow Window. I got the zombie Hollow Window. And if you guys haven't gone to their site, um, hollowwindow.com, they have a bunch of really freaking awesome projection videos like this. And uh, this is only four bucks. Four dollars. And you just um, download the link. You don't even have to wait for a DVD. Really freaking cool. Um, they got tons of different ones. I mean, just crazy, awesome. You know what? Let's go to the website. Let's see here. Well, I need to plug my battery in. Hello window. Hello window. Mark Gervis. Hello window four is here and ready to turn your windows into a disturbing sight for unsuspecting trick or treaters. I wish I would have had this. I wish I would have had this last year for the carnival thing because they had a really awesome freaking carnival one. In an uncontrollable zombie-like state, what the unrelenting soundtrack slowly liquefies their innards. With four additional single-seamed animations, you will have no shortage of fright. All right, let's see here. Shop. Um, you can get the brand new one for twenty-four bucks. A bundle for 64 which includes like every DVD they've ever made. And then you could download... Where are they at? Da, 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 da. Downloads. Here we go. <clears throat> so they have just individual downloads. So you can get an eyeball for 6 bucks. Some lightning. This one, I so wish I would have known about. I would have purchased it last year for the carnival theme. Would have been awesome. So can you imagine that being projected on the whole front of my garage door? And then I could have made the entrance like where the mouth. That would have been cool. So anyway, guys, all right. <clears throat> That's not all. I got one more update. Okay, Ramit the Tall said, hey, um, your uh, clock is blinking there, buddy. What's wrong with you? So, um, Halloween Hellmouth style, I hooked up my uh, thing, and there we go, 331 days. Whoop, whoop. And I made myself a board. So these are the projects, Cauldron Creep. I'm doing it right now. Leering Skeleton, that's the one that I showed before but I have some adjustments to make on it I want to do a moving tombstone lid and I I think that's what I'm going to use my other wiper motor for um, that I'm receiving hey another zombie attack no oh never mind just cute kid attack <clears throat> uh, zombie walker a horde of zombies somehow I've got a bunch of shiatsu massagers some large sprockets I got to do a, a broadcast zombie warning, like a television show type. I got to do my zombie crossing sign out of the one I got at the garage sale. 
a bunch of rusty pipes um, to have fog come out of, you know, that type of thing. Uh, I'm going to do an electric pole, and I saw a how-to on it. I'm going to use my flash cracker and put in the box, and it's going to be like a, a, a light pole with wires going to the house, and it's going to be like popping like it's uh, exploding. Some barricades with barbed wire for like the zombie type stuff. And I got a, the changing portrait that I got from High res I didn't use it this year, and it's a really freaking awesome video by High res Design, so I need to make a frame for that so I actually use it this year. Um, I got to do some repairs and improvements on my columns. Got to redo my drop panel and put the lid back on my trash can trauma. Trash can trauma is fine. I just got to put the lid back on it. Um, I've been wanting a, a counter, you know, your haunt clicker. Ordered one the other day, so it should be here in a few days. And as people are asking me questions on vlogs, I'm making a list of vlogs that I'm going to do. Um, the wood grain how-to. I guess I just did that. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to mark that one out. Okay, wood grain how-to is done. Um, somebody wanted me to do one on the flash cracker. Um, oh, I need, I'm glad I wrote this up here. Uh, Pandemic Cemetery, if you guys don't watch him, he has, is starting a YouTube about Halloween. And it's going to feature other Halloween projects, channels. Um, his backdrop is freaking awesome. Go check out Pandemic Cemetery. Really cool. He's got a new show starting. I think his first episode was going to go up on the 15th, something like that. And he's like, pressure's on. So go check out Pandemic Cemetery. And somebody today asked me about my, my zombie grave escape prompt. I'll do a, a, uh, I'll show you guys how to do that. If you're not, not on the list up here yet, I just haven't written it down. I uh, have another list where I'm writing everything down. So that's pretty much all the updates for now. And as I always say, get your haunt on. And one last thing, the, I actually filmed the opening of this package, it's your steampunk store. I got this off of eBay, and it's basically a thing of uh, watch gears, little sprockets uh, for a little steampunk. I'm going to add some of this to my costume that I wore last year, my skeleton guy with the top hat with the steampunk goggles. I'm going to add some of these uh, gears to the goggles. And doing the kind of industrial zombie theme, um, you know, I was going to add some of these, like I said, to enhance my uh, costume. Also, this is fun because you could steampunk other stuff. So this is my little helping hand station. I'm going to stick a bunch of them on here and steampunk it out and make it look all cool. But uh, All right, that's the last little update I think I have. And... That's it.